He's made it clear you're going to be looking at Hunter Biden and his uh, financial entanglements with foreign countries, including China. I want to put up a front page story from The Washington Post uh, this morning detailing Jared Kushner's ties to the Saudis. After helping princes rise, Trump and Kushner benefit from Saudi funds, a $2 billion investment in Kushner's from, from funds from the Saudis. We know that President, uh, former President Trump uh, has also received funds related to the Saudi golf tour. Will you be investigating that as well? I think everything's on the table. Look, we're investigating Joe Biden. Uh, we, we know that Joe Biden said during the presidential campaign that he had no knowledge of his son's business interest. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here, and the House GOP rolled out James Comer for an ABC interview to talk about all the things the Republicans pretend to care about. However, transparency and government accountability only apply to the Democrats in office, as Comer says it best. You know, Americans are outraged that China flew a balloon over the United States. Americans are outraged that China's trying to buy farmland. I think Americans would be outraged to know how much money the Biden family is taking in from China. And for what, we don't exactly know. So this is something we're concerned about. But, and so, but to be clear, you believe that, that, that this should apply to Kushner and Trump as well as the Bidens at this point? I, I believe that when we talk about uh, f passing legislation, to set a line as to where you can be with relatives of high-ranking government officials with respect to doing business with adversaries overseas, then it would apply to everyone. We need to fix this before it gets worse in the next administration. And watch him squirm while he tries to say that foreign influence on Republicans isn't as bad as it is when it affects a Democrat. He even makes the distinction that while Jared Kushner may be one sore spot for the GOP, Biden's entire family is the real focus of the American people. Yet another attempt by the GOP to make the American people turn their heads to pay attention to something while they let the previous administration get away with just about anything. The Democrats complained about the Trump administration, but... Uh, Obviously, we're complaining about the Biden administration. The difference between Jared Kushner and Hunter Biden is that Jared Kushner actually sat down and was interviewed. He was interviewed by investigators. So he's already been investigated. Thus far, Hunter Biden's attorneys, the president's attorneys, the president's White House, they're doing everything they can to block our investigation. Hopefully, the Biden family will be as cooperative as Jared Kushner with our investigation as they were with the January 6th investigation and all the other investigations of the Trump administration. So uh, I think this is a problem. I think that there can be a bipartisan legislative solution, but we can't get to that point until we know the extent of what the Biden family influence peddling involved, especially with respect to communist China. He says that these ethics laws should be applied equally under the law, but the House Ethics Committee has already made steps to try and determine what is and isn't worth investigating. And guess what? It isn't a lot of the mess that Trump left or any of his shady business deals. There isn't a focus on January 6th, but but rather how the people who stormed the Capitol are feeling about being indicted or how they don't like the inside of a jail cell. He says that these ethics laws should be applied equally under the law, but the House Ethics Committee has already made steps to try and determine what is and isn't worth investigating. And guess what? It isn't a lot of the mess that Trump left or any of his shady business deals. There isn't a focus on January 6th, but rather how the people who stormed the Capitol are feeling about being indicted or how they don't like the inside of a jail cell. There was even a meeting last week on Twitter about how they allegedly buried stories that could have impacted to the 2020 election, but they failed to realize that Twitter had requests from the former sitting president of the United States, again, who was not a Democrat. That was Trump, but all those facts go in one ear and out of their mouths, turning into garbage that they can spew on Fox News. There is no sincerity in the GOP ruled house for the 118th Congress. Let's be clear about that. They do not have intentions to better the lives of Americans. Instead, what they will do on taxpayers' dime is to create investigations and issues that did not impact people in the same way that, say, a president encouraging an insurrection would. Comer even says it here. If all these investigations happen to Trump, then the Biden administrations can expect the same because they all got their tender little feelings hurt because everyone was just so mean to their favorite president. Here's the difference between the Republican Party and the Democrats. We don't care if you investigate the wrongdoings of any political official. We, in fact, do believe that the law should be applied equally. But that is not the true 
go the true goal of the Republicans, and we can see right through that. This is a plain and simple vengeance rule and a way to quote get back at the Dems and own the libs to make the Republican Party feel better after they encourage an anti democratic chapter in American history. Folks, don't be distracted by the whataboutisms that come out of their mouths. And if you have seen any of the recent House hearings, you will really get a taste of just how little they truly care about getting things done for the American people. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.